Welcome to the wilderness. Um, again, I'm out here in the wilderness. Uh, I figured it would be a lot more fun if I did these on location, so that's where I'm at. Uh, we are continuing in the Sermon on the Mount, but first let's begin our practice by going to the Father. Father, help us to hear from you this morning. Father, to open our eyes to what it is that, uh, that uh, you want us to see in Scripture. And God, help us to dig a little bit deeper with you today and to grow, to be transformed. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, we've been talking about prayer and Jesus has been talking a lot about motives. And again, he gets into a motive section here in uh, chapter 6, verse 16 about fasting. It says, When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do. For they disfigure their faces to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen and your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. I almost skipped over this section, but I think fasting in a society that is abundant like ours is actually a very important practice because it's stopping something in order to start something. It's stopping something in order to find transformation somewhere else. And I think this is a key practice. Um, again, so a couple things first off. One, Jesus again talks about motive. What is your motive in all of this? Fasting was a spiritual practice. Is your motive in fasting to look great to others? Or should it be done in secret? And obviously Jesus here says, this is something that's done in secret. If you're doing this, it's between you and God. Now, I want to talk for a minute about fasting and what um, every year our family does. Our family every year uh, goes up to Hume Lake on vacation and up there there are no electronics. Uh, there's a little TV but essentially we throw our cell phones in our car, pull them out for photos, that's it really. But we kind of put everything away and we just sort of are in the moment with our family. It is a fast from electronics, from social media, and every year that changes our family. And even if you don't have a place like that or don't have a time like that, I think after this is all over, the whole, uh, the whole quarantine for this COVID-19 pandemic, I think what really needs to happen is probably many of us need to put our phones away, we need to put our tablets away, we need to stop watching TV, and we need to fast from those electronics because they're probably forming us in a way that we're not intending to be formed. And that's why we do that as a family. It's this momentary pause to get us into this rest that God really wants for us. So I wanna encourage you, and I want you to think about what is it that you could fast from during this time? You know, it could be food, it could be something else. Um, you know, when you think about it, what fasting does, and it's, it's in different places in scripture, is that it begins to transform us, to withdraw from those desires and to say, okay, God, what is it that you want for us? What is it you want for me? Sometimes when going through a big decision, um, I'll take a couple days and fast. And it is because I am trying to really think about, okay, God, what is it you want for me? I'm trying to really hear from God and, and drown out the noise of the world. And I think that's another thing that fasting does, is it drowns out the noise from the world. So this morning, as you are learning from Scripture, as you're going to God, I want to encourage you, what is it that God is saying to you? I hope to see you soon. I really do miss you guys, and I really hope to see you in person soon.